Hello Flustil, my name is Tamara and in today's video I'm going to speak about just NAM. Yes, once again. <laughs> the thing is that uh, I have uh, received um, some charts with embellishments, like the ones which I have been buying for the a few months, so it's not like everything was bought instantly. And I just took my box, this is my box, the IKEA box, where I keep the uh, charts, the just NAM charts, and I realized that it's full. And then I try to remember when I was, uh, because I, I have a video with my Just Nan stash. It was um, on, I filmed it like uh, one year and a half ago, like in the beginnings when I started the um, full tubing. It was less than 50 charts then, and I'm sure that I have more than 100 now. So uh, either I'm going to stitch from this box and like the new ones will uh, are going to be add, added up here or I'm going to to put a new box for the for the new charts. Um, in the video which I uh, I showed about my Just Nan collection stash and so on and so forth, um, I used to show there the teams, the pins which I have, the uh, Just Nan um, works which I had at that moment. Today I'm go just going to, to show you what I have in my stash and uh, of course I'm going to try to be fast, not to make this video super long. Okay, but let's start first with the uh, which, which I bought. Let me show you what I have been buying recently. So um, I have two charts, this simple charts. The first one is Crystal Heart, uh, which was apparently um, released for Nashville 2003 which doesn't have even here like the cross-stitched uh, final variant. And I'm just very curious to stitch this one honestly because I think it's going to be very beautiful because it has here um, some Swarovski um, uh, elements. So nice. This one, it was a very nice surprise. And then I bought like this one, which uh, has an embellishment pack and it, uh, it has like the cross-stitched uh, thing here. So it can be seen what it's going to be. So they were like being sold as a bulk, as a bulk. I mean, meaning they were being sold together because I don't think it's correct to say as a bulk. Then I bought the red hat stitcher. This one, the reward. I have already have uh, the I have marching orders. This sampler. Uh, this one, and and I thought that I am not going to buy any anything more from from this red uh, hat stitcher. No, but. I have seen this one being stitched on uh, Instagram and the. Uh, Hummingbird, which is here, the purple hummingbird, just took my heart and I just found it and bought it <laughs> because I wanted it a lot. Uh, then I bought such a um, almost a kit because here you have to add just the DMC threads. So this is Good Morning. Um, Tuscan, no, it's not called Good Morning, it's called Tuscan Sunrise. Uh, I was looking for this one for quite a time, but I was thinking like, uh, I'm going to buy it after, I'm going to hunt first for the ones which I, I want more. And then like, I found it for a decent, very decent price and I bought it. Um, so here it's the um, um, linen and there is uh, this um, uh, charm. It's not charm, it's a bit, it's charm, I think. Uh, but um, it doesn't want to go down. I wanted to show you too, but it doesn't want to go down. I know for sure that uh, this one, uh, this charm is also in... Uh, uh, I don't remember which one. When Barnaby... Barnaby... No. The long sampler with the uh, um, ladybug. I know for sure that it's there. <laughs> Then I bought such a, um, such a small design, but the charms were the one which charmed me. <laughs> because there is a water can, there is a, I think it's sunflower or it's just flower, I'm not sure. But it's super nice. Um, willow bar, it's called this one, I'm not sure. But they, they are super nice. They, and it's simple, it's just, just this piece of paper. And then I bought something which is which which, which was on my top wish list. I have the owl winder pocket. Yes, and I have like everything because this one was being sold as a kit. I mean, like uh, just the chart of the um, the of the pocket uh, is sold quite often, but this one. It's not so often, and uh, they were all together, and they were be and they were sold being sold for a very good price, and that's why I just bought it immediately. So it's 
the chart which comes with the embellishment pack it's felt it's cardboard and it's a uh, hand dyed thread this one and uh, the most important thing that it was being sold with uh, the winder they were being sold together so from all the um, just non pockets my very very favorite uh, is this one and the one with the um, uh, butterfly uh, but that one I haven't managed to buy so far. If I'm going to find it, of course, I'm going to buy. But again, if it's going to be the pocket and the uh, butterfly winder. So I don't want them separately. I mean, like, I don't want to have the pocket and not have the butterfly. Because I think uh, it's uh, more difficult to buy the butterfly. The the um, chart is easier to find. Because charts, usually charts come off uh, more often uh, or are being sold more often than the winders. And uh, also it was like the required um, linen for this one, it's uh, raw linen, but this one it can be found easily, it's not a problem. The others are important. And then I bought like such um, a sampler, needle story. I like this one, I have been like, what do I say? Um, I, I like this one for, for a while, but again, it was on the list. I'm going to buy it later because it's not on the top list. And then it's like, popped up on local eBay for a decent price, I would say, and uh, I, I bought it and I have it. I like very much the embellishment pack of this one. It's quite nice. And I'm sure that the, the um, stitch design also is going to look very, very nice. Okay, so this is everything I have been buying recently, and now I'm going to go quickly through everything which I have. If you have, if you have patience, of course. I tried to sort them out, more or less, <laughs> so that it would be, I don't know, some, some division, some departments. And uh, I will start with the band samplers. I think everybody knows what's a band sampler. Uh, they can be like uh, wider, like thinner, longer, shorter, but they are band samplers. Okay, the first one is such a small one. It's Red Hat Stitcher The Reward, which I already showed that I bought recently. Then I will also have from Red Hat Stitcher, I have Marching Orders, the embellishment. By the way, I all my charts are with embellishments. I have... As far as I remember, just one chart without the embellishment I'm going to show you. So I'm going to tell you when the time comes that it's without embellishment because I try hard to buy them with embellishment because for me it's important. I think that the, how do I say, uh, the heart and the, the that thing which makes um, Just Nan Design so special, it's the, the charts. The, the charts, oh my God. The the embellishment, I mean like the this this special things which make them different. So that's why I'm I'm trying like to buy them uh, with with the uh, embellishment pack. Then it's Lady Scarlet Journey. I have all the three parts. I have the feeling that this one was reprinted because now it can be bought easily. And it comes with the small ones because I have Barnaby sampler, but that one is on big charts. I'll show you in a second, you'll see what I'm speaking about. So all the three of them, nothing special, nothing, how to say, extraordinary so far. Then I have such a design, which is a rare one. So this is Regency, Regency Roses. And this one was exclusively made for hanging by a thread. So this um, was a shop in London and uh, apparently it closed and its owner, the lady, she was uh, selling them for a very, very low low price. So that's why I, and she made an, an announcement on the fa on the Facebook group, a just non-Facebook group. So I was happy and lucky <laughs> to get one of these. And what's the most important thing that this one is a kit. So the uh, Overa Soir threads, the silks, all of them are here. And a piece of cashel, uh, if I'm not wrong. And the embellishment pack, of course. So I'm super happy that I managed to, to buy this one. Uh, by the way, if you hear um, sounds of like repairs, uh, sorry, this is in the uh, neighbor house. So not my house, neighbor house. But as you know that England is almost all made of uh, uh, terraced houses, uh, unfortunately, some sounds still can be heard. But I cannot film like when I want. I, I'm just uh, making videos when my child is in the nursery because it's quiet in the house and he doesn't like come ask for something. That's why I have to deal <laughs> with this situation. 
Okay, the next one is Morning Song. I have also the feeling that this one was reprinted, by the way, because it can be uh, seen like uh, in, the, in the shops. Then I have Spring in the Air, which uh, was a, a great big, big wish, which I am very happy that I, found, I, I managed to, to uh, find it and buy it. And I hope that I'm going to stitch it soon. Then also a design which I liked a lot. I don't know why, but I liked a lot. And I like, I still like a lot. It's Huming Bead Heaven with uh, such a Huming bead and with such a bunny. And you can make such a small thing. I don't know. I am just in love with it, this, this design. I don't know why. <laughs> Then it's Angel Tapestry, and this one comes with a porcelain angel button here. Super beautiful. Here it is. I remember wanting this one also quite a lot. Then I have such a... Sorry for not taking all of them from the packets, but uh, I used to keep them in the packets and taking them like out and in, it, it like makes them like look worse. Though not all, all of them look nice, because you can imagine that uh, even though they have an embellishment pack, they have been in somebody's collection. They are not, if they are out of print, of course, maybe not in just one somebody's collection, in the, like more people had it. That's why uh, their quality is no, not always like the best, but still they are rare and they are precious. Uh, then such uh, enchanted swans, which I bought uh, for a bigger price, but I wanted it very much. That's why I asked for my husband to make me them as a gift. <laughs> you know, when I want to buy something expensive, it cannot be seen there. It has very, very beautiful swans here, pair of swans. When I buy, want to buy something expensive, um, if I don't want uh, like my conscience to, I don't know, to feel bad, <laughs> I usually tell my husband, like, um, I want something for micro stitching, but it's expensive for, how do I say, for the budget I used to, I used to, to pay. So do you want to give me as a gift? And he usually laughs and says, come on, you always buy what you want, when you want. And I, I am not asking you, I'm, I'm not asking you how much this, this costs. Okay, the next one is Strawberry Summer, which also was a very great wish. I hope I'm going to be able to find the right um, fabric for this one because it's Graziano. Generally speaking about Graziano, as far as I remember, and thank you for for, for those who, who wrote to me when I asked about this. It seems that Graziano, Fratelli Graziano, the Italian producer <laughs> is not making any more linen, especially for cross stitching. So. Uh, and it seems that it was making at the time when just Nan was making these designs. That's why she has quite a lot of designs like uh, recommended on Graziano. And some of them are recommended only on Graziano, you know, because sometimes she's giving uh, uh, two producers. Let me show where is the key. Come on. Look, you see, it's 28 for Graziano Savannah Rose. And I was told that uh, uh, to find this Graziano is either to find some leftovers in the shops or maybe somebody is selling it on eBay. But uh, like on a regular basis, uh, this, uh, um, this brand is not selling uh, fabric for cross stitching anymore, which is a bad, bad thing. Then I have Love Grows, which I also wanted. It's quite a popular, by the way, design um, through Russian floss tubers, and it's nice. And um, I want to buy this one, this bell pull because I also like it a lot. And I think this belt pool can be used for other designs as well. Chapter and verse. Actually, this is four design, four parts which are sold separately. So if to count, this have to be counted like four, not one, but they are being stitched together and they come as one design. Also, it was a great wish. I am super happy that I found it for a, how would I say, earthly price. Then Peacock Cipher, which I also, Adore. I like. Generally speaking, I like peacocks in the cross stitching, like because you know, just now this is the logo. It's a peacock. That's why they used to have peacocks. Uh, then I have Summer Night. Not a very popular design in stitching. I mean, I haven't seen so many ready works, but but still, it's nice this one. Then Parlor Ribbon. I was looking at this design for quite a lot of time, so that I was thinking to. Uh, buy it, not buy it, but these uh, tassels, you see, they made me buy it. They were the decisive thing. Then Needle in the Garden. I also like this one. It's um, being stitched on such a fabric. I bought it from uh, the Silver Needle. So I don't know now, but then when I bought it, it was last year, the year before this, don't remember. They had the option like to, to, add, uh, to add fabric. 
And here is just a charm, a scarecrow. Yeah? Yeah, scarecrow charm. No beads, but it's super nice. I like this one. Then it's Flowers of Joy, which also has a porcelain button here. Also a beautiful one. Then Icy Heel, which I think it's being sold like on a regular basis. It's not a problem to buy this one. I like this funny snowman. And the embellishment it's pack, it's just the charm, a cat and, some, and um, beads, not a lot. Then Cynthia Sampler, quite an old one, but you can buy it. I have been seeing this one quite often. Then I have small designs, such a small um, small design. And here it was the um, the teddy bear, which made me like melt and buy it. And by the way, I would like very much to have such a tassel with a teddy bear. But as, you know what, as, as a scissor fork, but I wouldn't stitch this big, uh, big, big uh, elf because I think he, he's going to be too big. Too big. I'll, I'll see, but the idea of having a tassel with a, with a teddy bear doesn't lead, let me live happily. Then there is Motif Mystique, which um, is sold like on a regular basis. It's not an out of production design. I used to say that it has a very nice embellishment pack and the price is quite decent, I would say. And I'll stitch it one day for sure. Then I have Sweet Remembrance, which also is very nice and dear to me. And uh, although here it's a recommended white cashel linen, I have the feeling that this one is going to look very, very nice on, uh, you know, like the mint green the, um, uh, color, which is recommended for Floral 15. Tinsel Tapestry. I hope I'm going to be able to find the fabric for this one when I'm going to stitch it. Also, it's nice. Then I have Barnaby, the three parts. You, you see how it, how big it's the chart. So this one, I think it's from the old uh, part. So I bought it like not, not a long time ago, last year, I think, from uh, the Silver Needle, you see, because it's been seen here. So all the three parts. I think someday it's going to be, it's going to look wonderful with um, uh, Barnaby and um, the lady Ladybug. And then I have first stitches and last stitches. So last stitches of 1999 and first stitches of 2000. Both come with embellishment pack. Um, I like these designs, but uh, you know, I was looking to buy them uh, together. Together, not uh, as a lot, but um, I wanted them both. And I wanted them both with embellishment pack. But because I don't know why, the charts of these ones are very um, are being found very often. And finally, I found them. They were not like a lot, but the same seller was selling them and I bid it and I bought them. Then I have Christmas Memories, which also is one of my nicely designs. Here it's Gingerbread Man, a row of Gingerbread Man. <laughs> nice, very nice. September Song, I am a great lover of autumn as a, as a season. And here it's such a nice design. Then Bliss, which is also very beautiful, and I hope I'm going to stitch it one day. It's more bigger, it's more complicated, but it's very beautiful. Then I have Fall of the Needle. All of them are nice, by the way, all of them, because uh, um, not all the time what is uh, being uh, like on the preview is r really showing what is going to be in like real life. Then I have the uh, reprint, uh, the last year's reprint, so this is Common Ground, which comes with such a box. Needle slide, sorry, it's not a box, it's a needle slide. And the other one, it's this one, it's Silkwood Manor. Also a design which a lot of people wanted and the price when it was out of production, its price on eBay started going crazy. Then Winter Heaven, this one, which also a lot of people know. I think all of them are being sold like, uh, you know, on a regular basis, it's not a problem. Um, um, Bell Mead, the fourth one I also had, but uh, I uh, I already stitched. Um, so I'm showing in this video everything which I haven't stitched yet. So you, I won't show you the charts of the designs which I already finished. So everything which is for future stitching. And uh, the needle story, uh, the one which was bought like recently, recently, recently two more which I want to show. So they are now in process. So they were started, but they are not finished. So this is Winter Blues, which is now like a, a whip. And there is uh, Four Wishes, 
which I'm going to stitch seasonally. And the winter part is already done. You can see all all, all this you can see in my uh, in my videos on uh, on YouTube. So these were the band samplers which I have in my collection. The next what I wanted to show you are the I would also call them samplers, or but they they are not like uh, you know long. They they are more like uh, uh, rectangular. I don't know. Uh, you you'll tell me if I'm not if I'm not right. So I have such a design. This is October Eves. We have such a nice pumpkin here. Then okay, let me show you this one because I didn't know in which category to include them. I have the three hearts, which just none has. I have the ebony rose one. All of them are with embellishment pack. Then I have a lady's heart, this one. And then I have uh, the uh, petticoat heart with the sparkle bee. And I like this one very much how they made it in this, this thing. Very nice. Then I have Miss Kitty's Dragons, which was uh, on my wish list. And I found it with um, the embellishment pack, which makes me happy. I have the octagonal peacock, which was a great, great wish. And I found it for a super nice price here on the local eBay. So it has the peacock charm. And I have a, such a charm. I also have um, um, a pin. And then the small delights with a turtle inside this one. I think this one is going to be very cute when, when stitched. Uh, then I have such a design frightful um, Halloween one with Quite nice embellishment pack, so hand dyed threads with a ghost. I have seen this one being stitched, and honestly, it looks much nicer, like when I saw it stitched. And I have such a design, Victorian Violets, which is super cheap for just men, but I saw it being stitched, and it's it's very nice. And I, I think that I, I am kind of like melting when I'm seeing uh, uh, violets in just men's designs. Then pansies, please. This one was taken out of production quite recently, so because it, you could buy it like nicely and easily and out of the blue it disappeared. Then such a um, Halloween one, which way, with such a nice charm, the uh, witch charm, it's painted. Uh, then I have Black Magic, which is the only one which doesn't have an embellishment pack. But here um, it has such a flower, which I think it's going to be easy to find something instead of it. So it's not going to be a problem. Then I have Great Expectations, also very cute and nice design. Uh, then it's Wildflower Wishes with the Heart Angel charm, which is also a very nice design. Then Florentine Floral, which is super nice. You know, all these designs will make a great lead of a box, but where to put so many boxes? I thought about maybe like stitching them, like um, making them like a pin keep and um, um, changing. If they have the same size, change the, the on different boxes. Then I have the four designs with the um, seasonal designs with the houses in the middle. So this is spring in the tulips, and uh, these ones don't have um, um, don't have charms. It's just beads. But these ones require hand dyed thread from uh, Gentle Art, and I already bought it. Like because I decided, generally speaking, I decided that uh, nicely and slowly I'm going to kit up my adjustment designs. Because when you want to stitch it, you just realize that uh, the thread is diff difficult to find. You find out that uh, the uh, fabric is out of production. <laughs> That's why if it's possible to buy and I can find it, I, I thought about like uh, more or less quickly. Except, of course, the uh, DMC threads and the, um, uh, how do I say, the um, um, fabric, which is how do, classic, like the white, antique, white, raw, flax, uh, because I think this one, I think at least they won't get out of production. And the autumn and the threads, which I already purchased. And the last one is deck the holes, which is very beautiful when being stitched. Russian floss tuber started stitching it, they like it. It's, it's super nice. And I think that's it about my square. Oh, it's not rectangular, it's square. My square um, designs uh, by Just Nan. Next, I wanted to show the uh, snowflakes. <laughs> the snowflakes designs, I have just three so far. 
the ones which I like most, most, most of all. So I have Crystal Roses. They are quite famous. A lot of uh, cross teachers are uh, doing them, uh, cross stitching them. And then I have the Snow Flowers. The embellishment pack is somewhere here. And I have the Ice Blossom. I have seen them being stitched. They are very beautiful when, when being stitched. The ones who stitch just now, they, they just know. Next ones I wanted to show you are some small designs. I don't know how to, which department you put them, but I made a special department for them. So I have such charm school designs, the Kilted Bear, which has also a teddy bear. You already probably understood that I am I'm crazy about these teddy bears. Uh, then I have uh, flying colors, which I also bought like not a long time ago. I saw it being stitched and I like it a lot. It, it's nice and I like stitching uh, uh, butterflies. Then I have um, also um, a pattern pack. So everything is, is here except the DMC. This is Pearl Orchid. Very nice. It has a very nice pearl charm and uh, hand dyed threads and a very nice uh, fabric by the way and it's written here that it's uh, Zweigert and I'm sure it's out of production this one because I haven't seen Zweigert having such colors. Uh, then such a design, uh, this is Sparkling Iris. I think that it has a very nice embellishment pack for such a small design and by the way if you see this frame, so the frame um, I saw not a long time ago on eBay, it was sold for $150. And they have it like with um, um, tulips as well, and the design is with tulips. Then such a small design which is called Queen's Heart. Uh, I have just the design. Also, you, if you can find, you can, if you want and you can find, you can buy such a heart frame, which is a matching frame. Uh, then I have this trio, so the wintry mix and the jasmine jasmine mix, uh, it was like um, printed a long time ago, it, they had the reprint not a long time ago, but this one, this one it was a release of 2020 and I bought it, so I have the, this trio together and I have also Heart of Spring. This one with the, this is a release of 2019. I haven't buy, bought this um, needle slide, but I like it and I'm thinking of buying it. I'm trying, I'm trying very, very hard not to buy needle slides because it's going to be too much <laughs> if, I'm, uh, if I'm going to start buying uh, needle slides as well. The next I wanted to show are my uh, stockings. So I have six of them. Uh, like, um, let me show this one <laughs> and then I'll tell you. So the Christmas orders is already stitched. It's just, it's just here in this um, pack because I'm keeping them all together. The cranberry plate is also stitched. So I have videos on my channel with them. So I won't count them as, uh, as a collection because they are already stitched. And I said that I'm just counting the ones which are not stitched. Plus the ones which are now being stitched. I have Ulity the Ivy. This one. I have roses for Saint Nicholas. This one. I have Burgundy bouquet. This one. And I have sugar plum violets. The two I don't have because there are two more uh, like uh, stockings by Jasmine. The two I don't have. These are um, um, uh, the one which is with teddy bear, bear with uh, Victor, the name. And the one which has an angel, like in the middle. So those two I haven't bought because they I don't like them so much so far. And I think six is enough. So I wish I had time and like <laughs> to stitch this one and put them together and have them as as um, as uh, stockings. The next designs which I wanted to show I don't know which category I <laughs> should put them in. Uh, so this is what I already showed you. It's the Tuscan sunrise. Then it's the tall flowers. I don't know, mini samplers, probably. Then the two, this two, which I also showed in the beginning of the video, Crystal Heart and Floral Sunshine. Then I have such a design from uh, this um, collection, Shenanigans, if it's, uh, I, I should call it like this. I have uh, this uh, Rosy Rabbit, which I like a lot, quite a lot. And I hope that I'm going to stitch it one day. Uh, then I have such a snowflake Santa, which is qu quite rare today to find with this frame. And I like very much how it looks like. I have, I saw it being stitched and it's super nice, this one. I hope I'm going to stitch it somewhere soon, like at, during Christmas 
time. The next I wanted to show you are the little beautiful things by Just Nan, which everybody loves, and uh, which is uh, is the reason I fell in love with Just Nan. So I have here the um, bungalow of Cloverly Bunny. By the way, I think this is the only bunny which Just Nan has because there are a lot of mice. But uh, this is the only bunny, I'm not sure. Then I have Hoppington Hill Cube. I don't have a lot of cubes and a lot of mice, you'll notice, because I'm trying desperately not to buy a lot. Um, firstly, because I don't have a display place, you know, like I I put um, some of them uh, seasonally. I mean, when it's its season, but having all of them, uh, my child is still small and he's still interested by these little things which mommy makes and... Uh, I'm trying not to not to make them um, a thing he wants to hunt. Uh, so this Hoppington Hill with a bunny. Every year before uh, Easter, I'm telling myself that I'm going to stitch this one, and I'm and I'm still not stitching it. Then floral 15, which is in my wish list or to do list. Wish list like meaning to to stitch it and put it together because this winter I already made the Mary 15 and I'm like dying to do this one as well. Then I have when Barnaby Bat Bella, which also I like a lot and I hope to stitch it soon. Then I have such a snowball, which is super nice. There is also a Twilight, Twilight Pearl Ball, the spring one, which is uh, uh, lilac and the green that one was also very nice but i don't have it that one is super expensive and i didn't see it being sold like um then i have uh, the mice on the rolls uh, probably everybody who loves just now know that uh, it appeared um, the uh, last one the winter one i haven't bought it yet but i'm going to buy it so that i would have the whole collection so there is the spring mouse on the scissor roll, then the autumn mouse on the scissor roll, and the summer mouse on the scissor roll. Uh, then uh, there is like this mice in a house. First I saw this one, Christmas mouse in a house, it was in a shop, and I fell in love with this, with this mouse and her house. I think it's a she because she has a flower on her head and um, also um, I could buy in that shop um, the winter design the sorry the um, autumn mouse and it was also the um, uh, winter mouse but um, I didn't so I couldn't go buy this one that's why I bought it but the winter one I didn't buy and I didn't want to run and like hunt the others because they cost quite a lot and I didn't want to pay extra money and I didn't want a collection, a seasonal collection of these ones. Uh, then I have Spooky Spirits of Tombstone, which is uh, being sold like in all the shops <laughs> and it has such a pin. I also decided buying this one because I thought that it's going to get out of production and I will have to run and pay more than it worth. Then I have such two designs. These are the eight pointed star, uh, eight pointed stars. I have the Halloween one, and I have the uh, spring, summer one because it's flowery and it's with a bunny pin. Of course, the pin is not here, and I don't have this pin in my stash. So these are some of my uh, my just now designs like this. In a, in a sec, I'm going to show you the rest of them. And the last ones are some small designs, also nice little things. So I have of these home books, I have just two. They were the collection of 2010 and they were four seasonal ones. I have Winter, which I bought on local eBay two years ago for a very nice price. And I have this one, the Autumn one, they come with the pin and that's why now they are being sold at quite high prices. I have um, this one, the Autumn one. Uh, which I bought from Australia, for also for its like nice price. And the other two I don't have. I can stitch the them, the other two, but the thing is that I don't have the pin, so I'll have to think about how to um, make the pin. Then I have such a, such a design, which is Lady Scarlet Garden, which is a kit actually, because it's the chart and I have everything I need here, so... And uh, what is being done here, and it came together with this beautiful lady. 
you see so you can see in the picture that there is a needle book to be stitched and then there is a pin cushion to be made from felt and it has everything in the kit uh, for those who have just none, you probably know that these designs, um, there are like four in the series. It's uh, Lady Scarlet, it's Barnaby, there is uh, Minerva, it's the owl, and uh, uh, there is a bird, I don't remember what's her name. And uh, a while ago, they just popped up on eBay and they were being sold for uh, quite big prices at least for me 250 dollars or 350 dollars these are big prices so i didn't even try to buy them because this one i bought on local ebay like one year and a half ago for a super decent price that's why i bought it because the price was okay <laughs> and um, then i have the four biscornus the small ones they are very small and they are also seasonal so this is the autumn one then I have the uh, Christmas one, which is winter as well, I think. This is the Tiny Bunny Biscorni, which I think it's spring. And the feathers and flowers, which I think it's summer. Then I have some owls. I have Mr. Nutley owl. Come on. This one. Then I have the cute hoods. I have both. I have Percy and Wally because I found them for a very nice price. And by the way, which is which, I just realized when looking at the chart. So the purple one is Percy and the orange one is um, Oli. Then I have such a nice snow princess. And the one which I already showed you, the, the pocket one. I counted them and it's 110 designs. So, uh, including these two, which are now like uh, whips, and uh, the chapter and verse I consider as four, uh, four charts because you have to buy each separately. So you are paying for each separately. So I have, I have quite a lot of stash, at least for me it's a lot because I, I said that I was curious to find out how many I have and to convince myself to make to be sure that still just then now it's a leader in my stash. So I don't have any other designer with so many charts in my stash. I know that not everybody likes just then, not everybody understands how to pay so much money for such small designs with a few beads and uh, I don't know a charm which sometimes they think it's not uh, good quality. But uh, at the moment, this is my beloved designer. I love stitching it and I, I am stitching it. Uh, in time, if I'm not going to be so keen on it, of course, I'm going to move to a new designer or another designer and I'm not going to stitch just none anymore. Uh, that's why I uh, made this video and I will be very happy if the other stitchers who also have a stash of Just Nan would uh, have such videos with Just Nan stash because I adore, I, I simply adore watching such videos. So if you have a stash, please show your charts, your embellishment packs, your pins, your tins, your everything which you have from Just Nan. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing and see you in my next videos. Until then, bye bye.